Hi, my name is Dr. Emily Burke. I'm going to spend a few minutes here talking about antibody structure and function. So first, what are antibodies? Antibodies are specialized proteins produced by our white blood cells, a particular type of white blood cell called a B cell. And antibodies recognize foreign proteins called antigens on the surface of viruses and bacteria. And this helps our immune system to target those foreign invaders. And so in order to carry out their function, uh, they have a very specialized structure. And so they're typically represented as a Y shape, as I have shown here and shown on the slide. Um, the constant region is the stem of the antibody, and that doesn't change. So most antibodies have a very similar constant region. What does change is the variable region, the shape of those arms. And so it is the shape of the variable region, the shape of those arms, arms that determines what target antigen an antibody is going to recognize. So one antibody might be have arms that are shaped like this, and so it's going to recognize this particular target. Another antibody might have arms whose variable region has a shape like this, and so it's going to recognize a different unique target. So unique target recognized based on unique shape of the variable region. So what do antibodies do within our immune system? So they are released uh, in response to a specific target antigen. And then one of the things they do is they neutralize pathogens. So as we see on this slide, our virus particles uh, would normally infect the host cell by using proteins on the surface of the virus to interact with proteins on the surface of the host cell and enter that host cell. Um, now, if we have an antibody that recognizes and binds to a particular viral protein on the surface, that will prevent the viral protein from binding and entering the host cell. The other key thing that antibodies do is they can trigger other white blood cells to attack a particular target. So essentially, they act as flags or flares to alert uh, white blood cells such as killer T cells or macrophages to attack whatever that antibody is attached to. So in our slide, we can see that happening here. The antibody recognizes a specific target protein, um, and then other white blood cells move in and destroy whatever it is. Uh, and again, hopefully it's a bacteria or a virally infected cell. So scientists have taken this characteristic of antibodies, their ability to very specifically recognize one unique target, and adapted them as therapeutics. And so because of that high specificity, remember uh, one shape recognizes one target, a different shape recognizes a different target, that specificity makes them very selective for a unique target. And so as the slide shows, antibodies will typically recognize one and only one target. In this slide, the antibody is only recognizing that blue receptor protein on the surface of cells. Um, in contrast, my small molecule drug here, shown as a black dot, uh, recognizes multiple targets. And so certainly some small molecule drugs only recognize one target, but in general, we have less target specificity with small molecule drugs, and that's one of the things that makes antibodies such attractive therapeutics is their specificity for a target. And so how do they work as therapeutics? Well, they work very similarly to how they work in our own body. So for example, an antibody might bind a antigen on the surface of a cancer cell and, tar and attract white blood cells to then target and destroy that cancer cell. Um, they might also block a signaling molecule. So for example, a growth signals tell cells to divide. Uh, if we have overactive growth signaling or if we have too much of a growth signal present, that can lead to cancer. So we might design an antibody that would specifically recognize and bind to a growth factor receptor on the surface of cancer cells and then block that um, signaling from telling this cancer cell to divide. 
They might also capture signals. So for example, we might capture a growth factor signal and prevent it from reaching that receptor uh, in terms of anti-inflammatory disorders. Um, in many cases, our immune system is turned on by specific proteins called cytokines that bind to um, cell surface receptors of white blood cells, activate those white blood cells. And in people with diseases like Crohn's disease, for example, or rheumatoid arthritis, uh, those immune cells are too active and they're actually attacking the patient's own tissues. So we wanna kinda of turn down that immune response, dim the activation, modulate the activation of those white blood cells, and we can do that by actually capturing the signaling molecules that turns the white blood cells on. And that's what this slide shows, an antibody that has been designed uh, so that it will specifically bind the signaling molecule and prevent it from reaching its receptor. And then we can also, in some cases, have antibodies designed so that they will neutralize pathogens. Just like we saw earlier, our own immune system will produce antibodies that naturally prevent viruses from infecting uh, lung cells, for example. Uh, we can do that to specifically uh, design a drug that will specifically prevent infection with, for example, respiratory syncytial virus. Um, and there's a drug on the market that does that already, Synegus, and ZMAP is an antibody in development to uh, try to prevent Ebola infection. Finally, one sort of very exciting new development um, within antibody therapeutics is using antibodies to deliver a toxic drug. So these are what we call antibody drug conjugates. And so what it means is that a highly toxic drug is conjugated or attached to the end of an antibody. And so we can use this antibody then to deliver the toxic drug directly to a tumor cell. So the antibody is going to be selected or designed so that it recognizes a protein on the surface of tumor tissues. We're going to attach that toxic drug to the end of my antibody. And now, when we inject it into the patient's bloodstream, the antibody will carry that toxic drug directly to the tumor cells, and only the tumor cells that have that specific antigen. Um, we can further design the antibody so that it will be taken up by those tumor cells so that the tumor cells will um, sort of engulf the receptor with that antibody drug conjugate attached. Once inside the cells, the, anti the toxic drug is released from the end of the antibody, destroying the tumor cells. And so this has the advantage of, again, we're gonna have less sort of systemic toxicity because we're delivering the drug directly to the tumor cells. And so what this means is that we can have highly toxic drugs. So not only are we gonna have less toxicity to the patient as a whole, but we can actually increase the toxicity that's reaching the tumor cell. Um, so this is sort of a next generation type of uh, cancer therapeutic antibody drug conjugates. Thanks for watching today. I hope to see you soon in one of my in-person classes.